the Roman Empire, a civilization that has indelibly marked the course of history. Let's journey through time to explore its rise, key figures, ruthless acts, cultural impact and eventual demise. This empire, hailed as one of the most influential civilizations in history, has a tale woven with the threads of power, ambition and revolution. Its story is punctuated by charismatic leaders, conquests and groundbreaking advancements that have left an enduring legacy. From its humble beginnings to its dramatic collapse, the Roman Empire has shaped our world in countless ways, from our language and law to our architectural aesthetics. So, fasten your seatbelts and prepare for an intriguing journey back in time. Join us as we delve into the fascinating narrative of the Roman Empire. So buckle up and prepare for a journey back in time as we explore the rise, reign and ruin of the Roman Empire. The story of Rome begins in 753 BCE with the legendary founding of the city by Romulus. Picture a modest settlement nestled in the heart of Italy, slowly growing in strength and influence. Over centuries, this humble beginning would transform into a civilization that would shape the world. In the early years, Rome was ruled by kings, seven in total, each contributing to the growth and development of the city. However, the Romans, growing weary of monarchical rule, decided to take matters into their own hands. An uprising in 509 BCE led to the overthrow of the last king, Lucius Tarquinius Superbus and heralded the establishment of the Roman Republic. The Republic was a new concept in governance, a radical departure from the norm. It was an experiment, a system where the power was in the hands of the people, or at least the patrician class. Two consuls were elected annually by the citizens to administrate the city, while a senate provided a semblance of continuity. This form of government allowed Rome to flourish, expanding its influence beyond Italy and into the broader Mediterranean region. Among the early leaders of the Republic, Julius Caesar stands out. A military genius and charismatic leader, Caesar was instrumental in expanding the Republic's territories. He was beloved by the masses for his reforms, which included granting citizenship to many people outside Rome, initiating public works and even introducing a new calendar the Julian calendar, which is the precursor to the one we use today. However, Caesar's increasing power and popularity threatened the established order. His story, a tale of ambition, intrigue and ultimately betrayal, is emblematic of the tumultuous final years of the Republic. His assassination in 44 BCE, a conspiracy by his own senators, marked the end of an era. The Republic, however, was not to last. A new system of governance was on the horizon. The stage was set for the rise of the Roman Empire, a period of unprecedented power, cultural achievement and ruthless ambition that would forever etch Rome in the annals of history. The late Republic saw the rise of powerful figures like Julius Caesar, whose ambition would change Rome forever. As part of the First Triumvirate, Caesar, along with Pompey and Crassus, began to assert their influence. However, this alliance was short-lived as political tensions and personal rivalries fractured their unity. Caesar's increasing power and popularity sparked fear among the Senate, culminating in his infamous assassination in 44 BCE, a pivotal event that plunged Rome into chaos. Out of this turbulence emerged the Second Triumvirate composed of Octavian, Mark Antony and Lepidus. This alliance would also fracture, but not before it had avenged Caesar's death and consolidated power. The Battle of Actium In 31 BCE, a conflict between the forces of Octavian and those of Mark Antony and Cleopatra was a defining moment. Octavian's victory signalled a decisive shift of power. With the defeat of Mark Antony, Octavian stood unchallenged, ready to usher in a new era. The Republic, a political system that had shaped Rome for centuries, was on the brink of transformation. The stage was set for the end of the Republic and the dawn of the Empire. A change that would reverberate throughout history, shaping our world in ways that still resonate today. In 27 BCE, Octavian became Augustus, the first Roman emperor, heralding the Pax Romana. This was a golden age for Rome, a time of peace and prosperity that stretched for over two centuries. It was an era of stability that allowed the Roman Empire to flourish. Augustus was a shrewd leader, demonstrating his acumen in both politics and warfare. 
he centralized power, cementing his position as the supreme ruler while maintaining the facade of a republic. His reign was marked by an efficient bureaucracy, a professional army and a comprehensive legal system. The Pax Romana, or Roman peace, wasn't merely an absence of war, it was a time when the empire thrived. Trade routes spread far and wide, bringing wealth into Rome. Infrastructure flourished with the construction of roads, bridges and aqueducts. They were the veins and arteries carrying the lifeblood of Rome to its furthest reaches. Under Augustus, the Romanization of provinces was also intensified. This meant the spread of Roman culture, language and laws across the empire. It was a form of cultural assimilation where conquered people were transformed into Romans. It was a process that didn't just change the empire, it changed the world. But the Roman Empire was not always a time of peace and prosperity. As we'll see next, it had its fair share of ruthless rulers and brutal acts, casting long shadows over the Pax Romana. Many emperors followed Augustus, each leaving their own mark on Rome. Nero, for instance, is etched into history as a tyrant who played the fiddle while Rome burned. Yet he also sponsored the arts and public games, contributing to Rome's vibrant cultural life. Trajan, on the other hand, was revered as an exemplary ruler. He expanded the empire to its greatest territorial extent, and his public works, like Trajan's Market and the iconic Trajan's Column, are still marvelled at today. Then there was Hadrian, an emperor with an architect's soul. Under his rule, Rome saw the construction of the Pantheon, one of the best-preserved Roman buildings, and Hadrian's Wall, a defensive fortification in Roman Britain. But the imperial throne was not always graced with such figures. Remember Caligula? His reign was marked by cruelty, extravagance and sexual perversity that led to his assassination. Or Commodus, whose obsession with gladiatorial games and self-deification signaled the beginning of the empire's decline. Each emperor, in their own way, shaped the course of the empire. They built roads, walls and aqueducts. They initiated wars, enacted laws and sometimes they watched the world they ruled burn. The Roman Empire was as much a product of their vision as it was of their follies. While some emperors built, others destroyed. Yet their reigns, whether marked by virtue or vice, left indelible imprints on the canvas of history, forever shaping the legacy of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was also a time of brutality and excess. As grand as it was, the Empire had a dark side that often manifested in the actions of its leaders. Emperor Nero, for example, was notorious for his ruthless acts. He is said to have persecuted Christians, blaming them for the Great Fire of Rome, a catastrophic event that destroyed much of the city. Nero's reign was marked by terror and violence, a stark contrast to the peace and prosperity promised by the Pax Romana. The gladiatorial games, a popular form of public spectacle, were another example of the Empire's ruthless nature. These games, held in grand amphitheatres like the Colosseum, involved combatants, often slaves or prisoners, fighting to the death for the entertainment of the masses. The games were bloody and brutal, reflecting the empire's acceptance of violence as a form of amusement. Other emperors too committed acts of extreme cruelty. Caligula, for instance, was known for his sadistic pleasure in torture and executions, while Domitian was infamous for his paranoia and the purges he conducted against perceived enemies. Such acts of brutality and excess were, unfortunately, common in the Roman Empire. Yet it's important to remember that these were not the only aspects that defined the era. The Empire also left a lasting cultural legacy, which we'll explore in the next scene. The Romans shaped the world in ways that still resonate today. Indeed, the cultural impact of the Roman Empire is as enduring as the stone arches of their aqueducts. Firstly, architecture. The Romans were master builders, infusing practicality with grandeur in their designs. The Colosseum, a marvel of architecture and engineering, remains one of the most iconic structures in the world. It was here that spectators were entertained by gladiatorial contests, a testament to Roman society's taste for spectacle and ceremony. Beyond the Colosseum, Roman engineering prowess can also be seen in their aqueducts, these gravity-driven waterways brought life-giving water to cities and towns, a testament to the Romans' understanding of engineering and public health. Secondly, language. Latin, the language of the Romans, is the root of the Romance languages. 
Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese and Romanian. But its impact doesn't stop there. Latin vocabulary forms the backbone of scientific, legal and religious terminology, even in non-Romance languages like English. The echoes of Roman conversation are still heard in the halls of academia, the chambers of the courthouse and the pews of the church. Lastly, law. The Romans valued order, structure and justice, principles that were embodied in their legal system. Roman law, with its concepts of equity, precedent and codified statutes, laid the groundwork for many modern legal systems. It was an intricate web of civil rights and obligations that regulated Roman life, from marriage and inheritance to contracts and property rights. The cultural impact of the Roman Empire is profound and pervasive. Its architectural wonders continue to inspire, its language lives on in our own, and its legal concepts underpin societal structures. The Romans, in their wisdom and their folly, left an indelible mark on the tapestry of human history. However, all empires eventually meet their end, and the Roman Empire was no exception, but that's a tale for the next chapter. Stay tuned as we delve into the decline and fall of this great civilization. The Roman Empire began to crumble under the weight of its own success. After centuries of expansion, conquest and cultural dominance, the empire found itself stretched thin, buckling under the pressure of maintaining its vast territories. Multiple factors contributed to the empire's decline. First was economic instability. The empire's sprawling size meant that it was difficult and costly to manage. Resources were stretched thin and corruption was rampant. This instability was further exacerbated by the Empire's reliance on slave labour, which stifled technological advancement and created a volatile social structure. Second, the Empire faced relentless pressure from external invasions. From the east, the Persians were a constant threat. From the north, various Germanic tribes pushed against the Empire's borders. These invasions put a strain on the Roman military and economy, further weakening the Empire. Third, political corruption and instability were rampant within the Empire. The Senate was often in disarray and the position of Emperor was increasingly unstable. Numerous Emperors were assassinated or overthrown, creating a cycle of instability and infighting that further weakened the Empire. In the late 4th century, the Empire was divided into the Western and Eastern Roman Empires in a desperate attempt to better manage the sprawling territories. However, this division only accelerated the decline of the Western Roman Empire as it lost the wealth and resources of the Eastern territories. The final blow came in 476 CE when the last Western Roman Emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed by the Germanic king Odoacer. This event is traditionally marked as the fall of the Western Roman Empire and the end of ancient Rome. The Roman Empire may have fallen, but its legacy endures. Its influence can still be seen today in our legal systems, languages and architecture. Despite its decline and fall, the Roman Empire remains one of the most influential civilizations in history. The influence of the Roman Empire continues to reverberate through the ages. From the halls of government to the spectacles of architecture, from the wellspring of culture to the codification of law, the legacy of Rome is as enduring as the stone used to build the Colosseum. In the realm of governance, the Roman Empire's systematic administration and the concept of a Senate have shaped political systems across the globe. Even the word Senate comes from the Latin Senatus, a testament to the lasting influence of Rome's political structure. Architecture is another area where Rome's influence is palpable. The grandeur of Roman buildings, the aqueducts, the amphitheatres and the roads these are marvels of engineering that have inspired countless structures since. Rome's architectural principles of durability, utility and beauty continue to guide the hand of modern architects. In the sphere of culture too, the Roman Empire has left an indelible mark. The Latin language, the basis of the Romance languages, has influenced English and many other languages. Roman literature, philosophy and art have shaped Western thought and aesthetics. And Roman law, with its emphasis on justice and the rights of citizens, has been a foundational influence on legal systems worldwide. But Rome's legacy didn't end with the fall of the Western Roman Empire. The Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire, continued to carry the torch of Roman civilization for another thousand years. From the Byzantines, we inherited Justinian's Code, 
the preservation of Greek knowledge and the influence of Orthodox Christianity. So the legacy of the Roman Empire is a tapestry woven into the fabric of our modern world. From our structures to our systems, from our words to our wisdom, we are the inheritors of Rome. And we continue to learn from its triumphs and its failures, its virtues and its vices, its glory and its ruin. The Roman Empire, a civilization that not only shaped the world but continues to influence it to this day. As we conclude our journey through the Roman Empire, it's important to take a moment to appreciate the sheer magnitude of its influence. From its humble beginnings to its rise as a dominant power, the Roman Empire has left an indelible mark on the course of history. The principles of Roman law continue to shape legal systems across the globe. Latin, the language of the Romans, forms the roots of many modern languages. Their architectural marvels, from aqueducts to the Colosseum, continue to inspire awe centuries after their creation. The Roman Empire's legacy is all around us, woven into the very fabric of our society. Its story is one of triumph and tragedy, of progress and decline, but above all, of enduring influence. It's a testament to the complexity and dynamism of human civilization. Remember, the Roman Empire is not just a chapter in history, but a vibrant story that continues to unfold.